At this time we are here with Angie B, who was formerly known as Miss Beautiful. <laughs> so how are you? I'm good. How are you? What's cracking? <laughs> when and how did you start rapping? I started rapping when I was 20 years old. Actually a little bit younger than that. Maybe like 19. <clears throat> but I started taking it a little bit more serious around the time when I was 20, 21. And I started rapping because I had just known a lot of friends in the music industry and um, I've always written a lot. I've always wrote a lot of um, poems and, you know, I just kind of thought I could turn my, my writing into something productive. Let's uh, start talking about your first album, I Candy. Uh, let us know more about that. My first album, I Candy, was actually when I, when I did that album, it was right after a rebound with um, a big breakup and I was really upset and I just got really motivated because I was like this is my chance to just make myself feel really good right now and if I accomplish something that's going to make me feel a whole lot better you know from being heartbroken and all and so um, I was actually listening to little Kim a lot during that time and she just really like made me feel powerful like she made me feel on top because she was just so like all for you know just women and it was just it was very very powerful very um, motivating. I don't know how to explain it, but her her music just made me feel good when I was feeling down. And so I kind of just like was like, you know what, I'm going to make some music for girls, you know, to just feel good and feel on top and feel in control. You know what I'm saying? Because there's a lot of music out there where guys are always dissing girls and talking this and talking that. So I kind of just, I wanted to do that for girls. I wanted to put something out there for girls to listen to when they go out and party, when they go to the club, you know? I know uh, you just released your second uh studio album Love Me For Me. Um, I mean, what can the people expect to hear uh, on that album? Well, Love Me For Me is definitely who I am. Um, that album is, you listen to that album and you know all my secrets. <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's completely me, pretty much. It's just my heart poured out onto, into music and you could just listen to it and hear what I have to say. And um, Basically, what I was going through during that whole year, I just I just talk about the truth. Um, the difference between that and my first album was on Eye Candy. I actually just exaggerated a lot and just kind of was, um, like I said, just catering for something for girls to listen to when they go out and party. And it was more for fun, you know, kind of like almost I fabricated a lot. <laughs> But this album is actually Love Me For Me is actually all the truth, and it's definitely just who I am. That's also, you know, I use it going by my real name now, NGB. And that's part of that whole, you know, just, you know, it's who I am, Angie, you know? What about the production and features? I know you hooked up with some big producer right now, Fingers. I have four tracks on that album produced by Fingers. Um, they're definitely my hottest tracks, um, hands down. Um, the beats are just off the hook. Um, the lyrics are freaking amazing. And... They're very um, universal. I think anyone can listen to it and like it. You don't have to be a certain race or a certain style to like those songs. Um, I also have a lot of um, other songs, and they're produced by um, a few of my homies um, from the Homeless Nation, um, Monique and Gambit. Dia Monique, actually, and Gambit. The Boom produced a few of my tracks on there, too. And those tracks are freaking tight as well. They're, they're, off, the, they're off the hook, definitely. Feature-wise... I have featuring, let me see, I got Mr. Capone featured on um, a song. Um, it's called Addicted to You. I have uh, Diamonique featured on a couple songs. One of them is Boy, I Love You. And I, let me see, who else do I have featured on my album? I got Lunch. I got Lunch from the Homeless Nation featured on there. We did a, a, a little tight track together. A lot of people like that track. Lunch put it down. Um, he's also from the Homeless Nation. Um... I got some other features too, uh, but those are just, you know, some off the top of my head. What is your favorite uh, track and especially why? Gosh, uh, my favorite track, <clears throat> I'm going to have to say Everybody Goes Away. It's not one of the ones that would uh, be on the radio. It's not my poppiest song. It's not my, I don't, you know... You know, I just like it for personal reasons. It's called Everybody Goes Away, and it's just a deep song. And when I listen to it, it's just, um, it amazes me. I mean, I, I think back to writing that song, and I'm just like, gosh, like, I just pretty much put my heart out on, I, I put it on paper, and then I went to the studio, and I just turned it into music, and I just listened to it, and it's like, 
like hearing it for the first time. It's, it's very deep. I, d- I just talk about a lot of uh, issues and um, situations in life that I've been through and that I think other people can relate to as well. You also uh, shot the video for one of the tracks. Um, let us know more about that and is uh, those video also featured on the CD? The video um, is a song called I Came to Have Some Fun. Um, my homie Bobby, Bobby Loke, no, nah, his name's Bobby from Live Magazine. He shot that video for me. Um, it, um, I didn't feature it on my al- on my actual album, but I, I'm going to put out a DVD pretty soon and I'm going to have a bunch of videos as well as just like a sneak peek into what I do all, you know, every day and kind of give everybody a chance to see who I am. Kind of like a reality TV type little DVD. <laughs> so you already, um mentioned that you will also release uh, a DVD. I mean, what else can we expect from AngieB in the future? You know, I'm just like a, a very uh, ambitious person. I want a lot out of life. Um, I never settle. So, you know, I just, I definitely just, um, music is my passion and it's definitely what I want to make it. I mean, that's the, that's the career path I'm choosing to make it and I want to make it in music, you know. But um, I definitely just want to succeed you know, overall, and I want to be happy. Being happy is very important to me. And um, I just, I want to succeed. I really want to succeed. And I, I, more than anything, at what I love doing. Can you already let us know more about that DVD in uh, in special? Well, actually, there's a cool little clip in there for the guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's, um, it's a cool video. I'm just cruising around with my girlfriends, you know, um, in my car. I have a Beamer, and we're just kind of driving around in my Beamer, um, just messing around, smoking some weed, kind of, you know, just being girls. And um, there's a little spot where I'm in, like, some lingerie. <laughs> and, um, and it's actually like a like a bedroom scene. And nothing like sexual or nothing like that, but it's, you know, it's very sexy. Um, and I'm just, like, on the bed, and I'm kind of just, like, saying the words to my, my song. And it's, it's cute. I have on some lingerie. And then um, if you watch it all the way to the end of the video, you know, it's, it's cute. I walk off and you see me with my little booty shorts on. It's, it's hot. It's hot. I heard you are supposed uh, to do a track uh, with Mr. D for some project. Uh, what's going uh, on with that? Um, eventually, yeah. I'm sure we'll do some tracks together. Um, I don't see why we wouldn't. He's a cool person. So, you know, I, I like to work with anybody in the music industry that, um, you know, is, is all about making music, you know, because that's the most important thing. Um, and anybody who wants, you know, just make music, you know, that's what I'm here for. Whoever wants to do tracks together, you know, let's, let's make some good music together, yeah. Your uh, first album, uh, you know, when you ask me, it had more street sound when it comes to the beats and everything, you know. Oh, and yeah. And the second album, you know, it's more radio friendly, I would say. Uh, mm-hmm. How would you say you have improved from the beginning till now? Well, I grew as a person. Um, when I first started rapping, I just, I did, like I said, I, it was more of a, I, I wrote poetry and it was more like, um, you know, I was just kind of catering to like, something that people could just listen to to bump when they go to clubs, you know, for girls to feel powerful. It was just more, I just was testing the waters. It was kind of for fun. You know, I didn't even know I was going to take it this serious. And that was, you know, that my first album, I, I didn't even rap that well. But, you know over the years rapping and you know practicing and you know I got better and I I realized you know this is what I want to do I mean uh, right now at this point in my life I'm not trying for anything in my life except this this is it for me you know I'm not going to school I mean I I put 24 hours a day into my music and if I don't make it then that's it for me so I have to get better you know it has to be radio friendly there's no questions really there's no question about it you have to improve because if I'm not improving, then I better go to school to be a secretary or something. <laughs> <laughs> How would you uh, describe your struggle to get to the point where you are at right now? Uh, I mean, especially as a female rapper. Um, but, but just like the unknown. I mean, not not knowing, um, not knowing what's in store for the future. Trying to find connects. Um, I mean, being a girl, I don't think. I mean, I have to admit, yeah, it probably does put some, some, um, I don't know what word to use, um, 
it may hold me back a bit, but at the same time, it may be to my advantage as well because I'm a girl. I mean, there's a dime a dozen bald heads out there. There's a dime a dozen, you know, dudes doing, trying to be rappers, and there's not many girls trying to do it. And, um, I mean, just, I don't know. It's like, that's, a, that's a weird question. As you mentioned, there aren't that much uh, Chicana rappers around. Um, I mean, there are only a couple like Miss Sancha, Baby Wicked or Dolly Girl that are actually having albums out. Do you think there's some kind of competition between you and the other female rappers? Not at all. Not even. Um, I, I wish everybody you know, the best success that they could have. Um, when, I, when I do music, I don't look at it as a competition. It's more of an internal, um, self-satisfactory type thing that I'm doing. It's, it has nothing to do with anybody else but me. And um, I just try to do the best I can do and grow as a, as a person. And, um, you know, that's, that's all you can do is just worry about yourself, you know. It's definitely not a race, you know. Not a competition. You were featured on Snappers, High Power release, The Connect, and a couple of other High Power tracks uh, back in the days. Um, and then uh, you, it seemed like you left High Power around the time Snapper left. So what's up with that? Um, I was never from High Power. I've never been from any crew or anything. I'm not like a, you know, I don't claim anything, I guess you could say. I'm just me. I'm independent. Um, I feature on, I'll feature on anybody's stuff. But yeah, I had some tracks that I let him use for a compilation. And yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. Your first album, I Candy, was supposed to be released on Madlock Records. Whatever happened to that? Um, no, it wasn't actually. It was just supposed to be released by me, and I released it. I did it just how I was supposed to do it. Um, everything went according to plans. Let the people know more about your website and your MySpace.com account. Um, my you can go to MySpace.com slash Angie B Music, and anybody who's on MySpace knows it's it's good networking. I mean, I don't know what else to say about MySpace. You know, it's it's cool. You can check out my music there. Um, you can be my friend, you know, stuff like that. My website um, is angiebmusic.com, and that is, um, I don't know what to say about my website. It's like, it's cool. You can see my videos there. You can hear my music. I have some little bio there. I'm going to have some more pictures on there pretty soon, you know. It's a little spot to check out what's cracking. Is there anything else that you want to say to the listeners out there? I mean, just to anybody who has a dream, go for your dream. Do what makes you happy. Just whatever you do, just do you. And just let people love you for who you are. You know, love me for me. That's all I can say. That's all I can say. <laughs>